I would love to and forgive. I, I, I pride myself on, on going off script, except I've been given a script that I will screw up if I don't look down. So Thursday night is Kids Free Night. So all of you that are filming, I appreciate you're here. Please make sure that people know these things are going to happen. Kids Free Night, if you are, I think this says age three, so someone needs to tell them, that, but age three to 14 free if whoever is bringing that child gets a ticket. It is high school night on Thursday night. If you call Christian at 619-594-0760, then you can bring your entire high school team for the same price of free. It is also Girl Scout night. If you wear your Girl Scout uniform, you can get in for free. So I, I'm hearing a lot of free. So let's have a Thursday night where uh, we come and see if we can get a little heat in the building. That would be wonderful. Um, we are coming off a really difficult trip, uh, really no excuses, um, could have and should have played what better at uh, UCLA, was not surprised at Washington State as we haven't shown uh, the ability to really assimilate what we need to on a back-to-back -back kind of short rest situation. Uh, but we, we got to get better. You know, if the whole class flunks the test, I fault the teacher. So I, I take full responsibility for our lack of performance to this point. Um, we're working hard at it every day in Viejas, and we'll have a great opportunity uh, to at least be home. You know, we've been gone a lot. We've had a lot of games in a row. Uh, kind of looking at this first pocket of seven games as one. Now we have a chance to come back, reassess. We're kind of back to 0-0 zero, zero as far as we're concerned as a squad. Spots need to be earned again, and we'll probably have a new lineup coming out uh, starting Thursday night against USD. With that, I'll open it up for questions. Chris, what are you most pleased with and so far in this? Is there something that strikes you that you're happy with? No. No? Um, you know, I think that uh, I wouldn't say I'm not displeased. I'm, you have seven new people and they're young, and I think the, the only constant is that you're going to be inconsistent, and I think that's been the biggest challenge. The, the, the real positive is that we have lots of good parts. We have lots of good players. I'm really excited about what we can and will be, but that's a process. Everybody learns at a different rate, um, so I think more than anything – what we're most pleased with is I think we did do a good job recruiting. We've got good kids and talented kids. We just need to uh, continue to get better. And, and really, you know, excuses are uh, excuses are what they are. They don't help you win a game and nobody really cares. Uh, Kiana Stamps has given us great minutes, has given us speed off the bench, uh, an offensive punch off the bench. She's our best defensive guard. She didn't play against UCLA or Washington State, and she most likely won't play again this week. She's asthmatic fairly severely, and it might have developed into something in her lungs. So uh, part of it is, you know, we had a pretty good, decent rotation. We liked where we are. I thought we played very well against Washington. She was our first sub off the bench, and she just, you know, she can't go. She, she can't go. So uh, we don't really have someone who can do what she can do right at this point. So we have to kind of tweak. When you're in the middle of it, you got a game, you got to do the best you can do. We've had, we'll have time now to tweak and adjust should we not. I don't anticipate – she hasn't practiced in a week and a half, so I don't anticipate we'll have her back uh, by Thursday. I'd like to hope we can get her back by the end of finals by Irvine. But that will make a difference. That did make a difference, and that will make a difference. Do you like this rivalry game, this inner city game? I usually like it when it's over. Um, that's usually when, when I like it. Uh, you know, it's funny because there's so many things that are important to you, and this becomes important this week. You know, you don't really – it's not something you think about a month ago. And I won't think about it a week from now, but this week, I said that yesterday to the team, you know, usually this game has a lot of different things connected to it, but I think the combination of the youth of our team, you know, and then when you look at our league, a lot of times in our league, we're not even sure who we're supposed to hate. You know, who are we supposed to hate? Who's our rival this way? You know, I don't know that they feel the rivalry because they're so young, and really, we're not playing really good basketball. So I think we haven't ad I haven't addressed USD for a minute in practice yet. We are really focused on ourselves, but come Thursday night, it'll be it'll be fun. They're kind of a mirror of you, aren't they? They have a lot of young players, also new players um, in the lineup. So many Connors, of course, I'm not understanding. She's different, but uh, right. 
probably have the same issues over there. Where, I mean, how do you get how do you get them fired up? For yeah, except I think they're like seven and one. So seven and one, a great. A great columnist once said, winning is a great deodorant. I'm not going to name names, but his initials are Nick Canepa. Um, and I think that, you know, they're, they're doing really well. For, for us, preparation-wise, I really, I've really i never seen any of the people they've played. You know, they've been back east. They played Columbia, Fordham, uh, Colgate, uh, Louisiana, Lafayette. So it, it's a little hard because I have no idea who they're playing either. So we'll find out. But, you know, in these kind of games – you know, I think some years maybe we've had the better team and they've won, and some years they've had the better team and we've won, which is pretty typical of these kind of games. And that's the beauty of basketball. You know, you got to put the ball in the hole. And both teams will be really excited to play. Um, I think it'll be a really high level game, regardless of anything that's around it. What kind of challenges does Thomas present to the team? Well, you know, she's a senior point guard. She's the, you know, we like, we have a term in our, in our vernacular, that is, she's the head of the monster. You know, it, it's it, as she goes, they go. She can hurt you in a lot of different ways. She's a great defender. She's a great speed guard. She gets to the free throw line multiple times. She can foul out two and three players. Uh, and I think as she's progressed, you know, she comes from a great program at Country Day. She's used to winning. She believes she's going to win every game. And I can't tell you how many of their film that I've watched over the four-year period, she wins games. You know, if if it's a tie game and it's the last shot, I bet you she's going to take the shot. And more often than not, she makes the shot. So I think when your leader and your point guard plays with that kind of swag and that kind of confidence, it trickles down to everybody else in the program. She's been a, a terrific athlete at USD, and uh, I hope for her, other than Thursday night, she has a great senior year. You know, it's – Timing is everything, and this ain't great timing. To I got so much going on with our team and with our program, uh, it's really hard to even think about. And frankly, Nick, it's I know you can say almost certain, but I think the only thing that's had certainty over the last probably 12 months has been the uncertainty of of all of it. So I really, until I get some tangibles in this is what you're going to do and this is how it's going to affect you and this is how it's going to affect your program, I'd rather – I'd rather hold back. I know that's that that speaks volumes in itself, doesn't it, Nick? Oh heck no! Human beings in the building is a great thing. You know, I mean that's not at all. I, I think. Um, I don't know. I think the the challenge right now, and, and we, you know, we have a terrific men's program, and they sell out, and it would hurt our season ticket holders, which is why, unless you know, I could be wrong, I, but that's to the best of my knowledge, it, you know, it would it would mean our season ticket holders would have to clear the building, um, and and you really don't want to you don't want to do that. So their success is, is a huge positive. Um, but because of the ticket situation, you know, if they're if they're sold out, then we wouldn't be able to get in the building. So, but I, you know, I would I would love to do it should the opportunity present itself. Talk a little bit about Courtney Clemens' start. She's obviously you know filling filling it up, having having a, a good start to her season. What, how, what, have you, what have you seen from her right now? She's she's been terrific. Uh, she's been uh, you know we're not. We're not very constant right now, um, but she and Kalina Tut are probably the two, and obviously they're the two that have the most game experience that have been really consistent night in and night out. Her, the biggest change in Courtney is her practice habits and her preparation. Uh, she's one of our hardest workers on almost a daily basis, and, and because she pushes herself to that degree, uh, she performs. You know, you come to a point where you can say what you're going to do, or you, time comes when you got to do it. And, and she's really stepped up. Uh, she she was the MVP of the Hawaiian Classic, and that and that does that does include someone who could be an All American and Keisha Hampton of DePaul. But Courtney was the best player that weekend, and I think it's a credit to her level of fitness. She's she's the fittest athlete on our team by far, and 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 I think we're pretty good shape. But she separated herself by how hard she worked this summer, and because she's so much fitter, she's so much quicker. And even though everybody's, you know, guns blazing for her, she's able to get her shot off.